All right, guys, went back today with an overview of the Beretta M9A4. This has been on the list for a while to try out, and I finally got one out to the channel, and I'm really excited to run rounds through it, put it through its paces, and really give you my opinion about the handgun. This is going to be the first shots and overview video, but it's actually been out for about three or four range trips because I've fallen in love with this handgun, so this could practically be the full review. The really cool thing about the Beretta M9A4 is it packs in a ton of features of modern day pistols, but with the long-term reliability and history of the traditional Beretta M9. It packs all of this in, colors it in this really cool FDE coloration, and packages it in this really slick ammo case that holds the pistol itself, as well as the extra mags and grip panels. The overall package is absolutely spectacular, and it's great to take to the range and really safely store your investment. I want to give a huge shout out to Callaway Ballistics for donating the ammo to help make this video, especially the shh ammo, the subsonic 147 grade 9mm. They've got some really affordable prices on this, as well as reman under $11 a box, utilizing the code 704 Tactical for free shipping and 5% off orders over $200. Definitely check them out. Some of the cheapest and best quality 9mm I've been shooting on the channel for a very long time. But let's get back into the handgun. The cool thing about this handgun, it is, is a complete package. It has almost everything you would want in a pistol all packaged up nicely. It includes three 18-round uh, mags inside the box with the tan coloration. And it also has a few different configurations with different round counts if you wanted to browse their site. It also comes with all of your normal things like your gun lock and different little accessories, as well as some extra grip panels if you wanted to add those. We'll shove this out of the way and take a look at the handgun. We'll make sure it's clear for the thousandth time before we uh, start playing with the handgun. And you'll notice Notice right off the bat that this is the traditional Beretta M9, a double action and single action pistol made for combat or duty use. This is a serious uh, fighting style pistol, so it has a lot of features specifically designed for that. It wasn't designed for necessarily competitive shooting or just target shooting. This truly is a good go to war handgun or personal defense handgun in my humble opinion. One of the cool things about this handgun is the overall feel and ergonomics is absolutely spectacular. If you've ever had a Beretta, this one feels just a touch better in my opinion because of the grip angle, the texturing of the grips, and the texturing of the front and back straps. Again, lending more towards not necessarily competitive shooting, but in case your hands get sweaty or dirty, it gets a good purchase and a hold on the handgun. Moving a little bit up from the grip, you have the nice traditional beaver tail, which protects your hands from any slide bite occurring or hammer bite occurring, and it does a job great. You can really get a good purchase on this pistol. This particular model actually has the decocker built in, so you can carry this in the single action locked back mode, um, but there is no safety because once you put that on, it decocks the pistol, so you can't uh, keep it in a safe position. Now, I particularly like this style. What I would do is holster this up with the double action mode only, so that first shot is gonna be double action, and then subsequent shots are going to be single action. While we're discussing that, we might as well look at the trigger. The double action has a smooth take up. It hits kind of a staging point, and you get a little bit more, and then you have the break. The single action though is where this pistol shines. You've got a short audible and tactile reset, followed up by a crisp break. It just goes right to that wall, so you can feel that take up to a wall, and then a crisp break. It's not the lightest single action trigger in the world, but it is very good for what this pistol is trying to accomplish. The other controls are very similar to a Beretta, but you get some enhanced features like the enhanced mag release right here. So the mags go in free and they also drop free and that mag release works out great. It's got some nice texturing, but it stays out of the way when you're shooting so you're not going to accidentally bump it. This one also has the lanyard hole right there at the bottom of the grip itself. Moving along to some of the upper controls, you do have that slide release or slide lock. This works out perfectly. Again, it's super easy to access without breaking your grip, 
and it stays out of the way while you're shooting. At least for my hands, you can see it doesn't interfere, so you're not going to accidentally hold that down. Moving to the front of the pistol, you have that pick rail on the front, which I really like about this version of the handgun, and a flat shelf up here. A lot of guys will wrap their fingers around the front. I personally don't do that, but that is an option. This one also features a, a half by 28 thread pitch on the barrel for quiet devices, as you've seen in the intro, and was 100% functional with that quiet device and the Callaway Ballistics subsonic ammo. So it works great. And it's probably a very top tier host for a quiet device because of its function with that attached and how quiet this was. No hearing protection needed with 147 grain subs. Let's take a look at the sights because these are a traditional three dot sight setup. They're a high vis white and their night sights all built in, so it works out great for different tactical applications if you were shooting in low light or uh, nighttime uh, shooting situations. Again, combine that with the pick rail and the quiet device on the end, and you got a pretty slick little setup for defensive or even offensive shooting. Now, in summary, I like this handgun. It works, it feels good in your hands, and it is just a joy to shoot down at the range. This was 100% functional with every single ammo we put through it, including the quiet device and the 147 grain subs. It didn't have any hiccups, feed issues, or I mean any cycling issues whatsoever. And that's what I would expect out of a Beretta. Now the MSRP on this guy is obviously more than a traditional Beretta, but I think it's worth every penny. And there's a lot of imitators on the market, but this is the original. Beretta has that track record record that goes back for years. They make quality handguns and this one is no different and it also packs in a ton of features. One of the last ones I do want to mention is the fact that this is going to be optics ready. You can actually buy optics plates that will mount to the top of that and that will be a follow-up video where we try to mount up an optic to the top and run it through its paces after that but I wanted to give you guys my initial opinion on this particular model because there's a lot of Berettas in the market now with this grip angle and new style design. So I wanted to review it as it comes, then add the plates and we'll talk a little bit more about it later. All of the information about this can be found on my campsite page, places like my Instagram, my Patreon page, as well as my Twitter page, which is now X, and a lot of deals and info can be found on everything in the description below. Thanks for watching, guys, and thanks to Beretta for sending this out to the channel for us to review. Have a good one.